Hello everyone and welcome to this series of creating isometric drawings using standard tools like your pencil, scale or ruler, a protractor, your compass and set squares. You might need an eraser or a rubber and your sharpener. So let's make a start. So the first thing that we do in creating an isometric drawing is just having a difference between isometric drawing and projection. So we need to have an isometric scale. So how to create that isometric scale? Well, to create that scale, first of all, let's make sure that we have a x-axis. And then at 90 degrees, we need to have our y-axis. So this is our isometric scale. Now, what we need to do is we need to create two lines one would be at 45 degrees which will be our real or isometric drawing line so i can use set squares and create a line but i can also use compass or i can use the protractor to do the same thing so let's create this line at 45 degrees let's extend it a bit and the reason I'm extending it is, let's say we have 15 centimeters to cater for. So I'm creating the marks for every centimeter as well. And then the next line I'll create at 30 degrees. Ten, twenty, thirty. It'll go in here, and as you can see, this line was a bit offset from the uh, center point axis. So I'll create the thirty degree line from a bit offset there. So this line is for our normal or isometric drawing. at 45 degrees and this is isometric projection at 30 degrees now to draw this line what we need or to draw this uh, scale what we need to do is we need to project all of these points let's give them numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, and 15. We need to project all of this thing, these points, vertically down. To do that, we'll use a scale and make sure that all of these points are coming vertically down, straight, as in perpendicular to this x-axis, or parallel to y-axis. And we can number them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we are just copying the numbers from the isometric drawing scale to isometric projection scale. This is our isometric scale. Now, for any reason, you would need to create an isometric projection rather than an isometric drawing then you would use a scale similar to this thing. So if someone gave you an uh, to create an isometric projection where the dimensions were, say, 90 millimeters, 
as in the real dimensions in isometric drawing they were 90 millimeters say 30 millimeters and 50 millimeters so instead of going in and using that scale or using your scale you can just directly go here so 90 is the first one here you can go in and measure how much is that 90 it comes out to be 76 millimeters so 90 millimeter becomes 76 millimeters here on this scale 30 millimeters becomes 25 and this is rough i'm just trying to get the numbers and 50 millimeter becomes 40 41 so that's how you create your isometric scale thank you all and see you in the next video